One of the craziest things about blockchain is that you can make arbitrage-based trading bots that absolutely print cash. Just like this developer who made $180,000 per month with their trading bot. All 100% verifiable on the blockchain. But how can you make one that's actually profitable? Well, I'm going to show you everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who's built multiple trading bots. Because that's the key to making one of these is to become a blockchain developer. And so if that's something that you're interested in, then let me introduce myself. Hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So make sure you smash that like button down below, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain master so that you can create your own trading bots, then I can show you how to do that step by step over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about how to create an arbitrage-based crypto trading bot. And since you clicked on this video, I think you probably already understand what arbitrage is. That's basically buying cryptocurrency on one exchange and selling it on another exchange for a profit. But you don't want to do this on regular crypto exchanges like Coinbase or Binance, for example, because by the time you buy the cryptocurrency on Coinbase and sell it on Binance, the price might move on you and you might lose money. And so what you want to do instead is create a blockchain-based trading bot that doesn't require any of your money to trade and also can't lose money. And you want to do this with decentralized exchanges on the blockchain like Uniswap, PancakeSwap, Sushi swap balancer, and you want to borrow the money with flash loans and do all your trades with smart contracts so that the price can't move on you and you can't lose any money on the trades. So, how exactly do you do that? Well, let's look into each step. So, step one is to pick a blockchain because when you're creating a blockchain based arbitrage trading bot, all the buying and selling that you're doing has to exist on the exact same blockchain. You can't do it cross chain, for example. And so, you want to pick a blockchain with lots of exchanges on it lots of cryptocurrencies you can trade, and also one that supports flash loans, and also one that's EVM compatible where you can write Solidity smart contracts. So you can see a long list of these on a website like DeFiLama.com. Ethereum's the largest one. You also got Tron, Binance Smart Chain, any of the Ethereum layer twos like Polygon, Optimism, and so many more. All right, so once you've picked a blockchain, step number two is to pick two different decentralized exchanges that you're going to arbitrage in between. So you can get lots of ideas on a website like DeFi Llama, which I showed you a second ago. You could just go to the DEXs tab and you can see literally hundreds of different options for you to choose from. Okay, I'm just going to use something like Uniswap and SushiSwap uh, as an example right now. Because if you use Uniswap version 2, it works the same as SushiSwap. So if you know how to trade cryptocurrencies in this exchange, it works the exact same for the other exchanges. And you can see lots of other DEXs that this is compatible for if you click on the Forks tab of DeFi Llama. You can click on Forks, you can look at Uniswap version 2, and you can see that there's over 500 different decentralized exchanges that implement the exact same trading mechanism, which you can implement your own strategies with with ease. All right, so once you've narrowed in on both of these DEXs, what you're going to do is actually watch for trades to come through because that's when price discrepancies happen. That's the reason that arbitrage opportunities exist in the first place. So whenever the cryptocurrency exchanges fall out of sync, that's when one cryptocurrency is cheaper on one DEX and more expensive on, on another one. And that's when you can buy and sell. So how do you do that? Well, with automated market makers, which is, that's pretty much what all these DEXs are, that happens whenever somebody buys or sells a specific token on the exchange. So you watch for every single buy and sell to monitor whether the price is going to change enough for an arbitrage opportunity to happen. And one way to do that is just monitor the swap events, okay? These are smart contracts that emit events anytime something happens. And the particular event, which you can see in the Uniswap documentation here, is the swap event. You can see it right here. This is a description of the event inside Solidity. So you're just going to watch every single time one of these swap events comes through, and you're going to monitor for the price change that happened during that swap event and see if that caused the price to fall out of sync with the other cryptocurrency exchange that you're watching. All right, so step number three is to pick tokens that you're going to watch. So the best way to do this is to just pick two different tokens that you're going to watch. Basically, one token that you're going to borrow for the arbitrage opportunity, and the second token is the one that you're going to arbitrage against, okay? So people ask me all the time, hey, where can I go research tokens? Well, a pretty easy starting place is just to go to a website like Etherscan and look at the token tracker. You can do this for any blockchain that you've picked in order to do this, okay? You can see that there's over a thousand tokens listed here. I can guarantee you there's more than that on the Ethereum blockchain alone. That's just the ones that they list that are you know somewhat popular on the chain right now. But if you think about it, there's nearly an infinite number of combinations that you can make 
with you know thousands of different tokens that you can watch for arbitrage opportunities that somebody else may not be doing. And you can also monitor a website like DexScreener.com. Okay, this is a really popular tool for traders that finds new liquidity pools as soon as they've been created on these decentralized exchanges, basically to look at new token launches. And pretty much anytime there's a new token launch, the price is really volatile. And that's going to have arbitrage opportunities associated with it as well. And so when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're looking at ERC-20 compatible tokens. Okay, almost every cryptocurrency that you're going to be looking at is going to be ERC-20 compatible. Basically, what that means is it's a cryptocurrency powered by the blockchain uh, smart contracts themselves. Okay, so it's not a native gas token like Ethereum is not an ERC-20 token. Bitcoin is not an ERC-20 token, but almost everything else is that's on top of the blockchain. Now, you still can trade Bitcoin, you can still trade Ethereum. What you have to do is trade the wrapped ERC-20 version of this. So like wrapped Bitcoin is an example if you want to trade Bitcoin and wrapped Ether is Weath if you want to trade that. And the reason for this is because inside your smart contracts for your bot, you're only going to be able to work with ERC-20 tokens. All right, so step number four is to pick a flash loan provider and actually implement that provider into your strategy. So if you don't know what to pick, I recommend using something like Balancer. Okay, it's my preferred flash loan provider. So why is that? Well, Balancer is a multi-chain protocol, so it exists on many different blockchains. So if you want to do arbitrage on this blockchain or that blockchain, Balancer is probably on top of it already. Another reason as Balancer has zero fees, so whenever you borrow money with the flash loans, uh, they don't charge you anything. And then finally, it's really easy to implement, okay, on the grand scheme of things. You can look at the balancer documentation and see how to create a flash loan just like this. It's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is install their uh, node package for your smart contracts. And then you just create a smart contract that looks like this. This is the basic template that inherits from the flash loan recipient provided by the library. And then it just has to have two functions. One to make the flash loan. It looks exactly like this. And then another function to receive the flash loan. Uh, when they call back to your contract whenever you receive the money. So they basically give you the answer right there. All you have to do is customize this template. So you might see these dot, dot, dots right here. Uh, well, that's basically just saying, hey, this is where you go implement the code to do whatever you want to whenever you've borrowed the money. So now let's talk about that. So step number five is to implement the token trading part of the arbitrage strategy whenever you've received the money with the flash loan. Okay. So a really easy way to look at this is just look at the Uniswap documentation. Again, you're going to have to look up the documentation for whatever decks you decide to use. But the Uniswap version 2 documentation is pretty straightforward in this. They tell you how to implement a swap inside your smart contracts. Okay, You need to Uniswap router and you can look at this step-by-step -step coding example that just says, hey, here's what you do in order to make this swap, which happens on this line right here. Now, there's a little discrepancy with this which is you don't want to be using this function right here, okay? You actually want to be using this function because you're going to be swapping ERC-20 tokens. This is part of the Uniswap documentation where you're swapping exact tokens for tokens, which means every single time that you're swapping, the token that you're giving is an ERC-20 token and the token you're receiving is an ERC-20 token because your bot is going to only deal with ERC-20 tokens. It makes things a lot easier. Now, another reason I'm showing this strategy is because this is exactly how it works with Uniswap version 2, okay? And like I was saying before, with these forks tabs in, on DeFi Llama, you have, you know, over 500 different exchanges that has forked Uniswap version 2, so they all have this functionality on it. So if you know how to swap tokens on Uniswap, you'll know how to swap on up to 500 other exchanges across different chains based upon this exact answer right here in the documentation. All right, so once you've created your smart contract that takes out the flash loans and actually implements the swaps like I just talked about in the previous step, the final step here is to create a searcher bot that actually watches for opportunities in the marketplace and then calls your smart contract whenever it finds an arbitrage opportunity. Because that's the thing you have to understand. Once you've created the smart contract to take out the flash loans and do the arbitrage, it doesn't find the arbitrage opportunities for you. All it does is execute an arbitrage. It simply does what it's told. So you need something else that watches for the opportunities in the marketplace and then calls your smart contract. And you can see that diagram on my screen here. Basically, you have this searcher bot that lives you know, on your computer or out in the cloud on the internet somewhere. And then whenever it finds an opportunity, it calls your smart contract and then does the arbitrage. And so how can you do this? 
Well, the easiest way is to basically just create a Node.js bot. So you're creating this in JavaScript with Node.js. Basically, Node.js is just something that lets you run JavaScript on your computer because it normally only runs in your web browser. So you can use Node.js and JavaScript for this. And what you want to do is inside your bot, you want to start monitoring the swap events like I talked about before. So basically, whenever somebody trades a token on one of these DEXs like Uniswap or SushiSwap, we're looking for swap events and then seeing, you know, if the price has changed and can you calculate a profitable arbitrage and fire your contract based upon these circumstances. So you can use a library like Ethers.js, okay, which will let you interact with the blockchain inside of JavaScript. And particularly, you want to be monitoring those swap events inside Ethers.js. So you can see in the Ethers.js documentation here, you've got an events uh, section here. And basically, you can look at any event that you want to in real time. In this case, you want to be looking at the swap events. And then whenever you find those swap events, you want to calculate the profitable arbitrage opportunity. You want to talk to your smart contract and fire it so that it actually executes the trade. So how can you do that? Well, you can create a JavaScript version of your smart contract with Ethers.js as well. You can see the new uh, contract instance right here. Basically, you want to do that. You want to store your wallet inside your bot, your developer wallet, so that you can just pay the gas fees in order to create this swap. Create a signer with Ethers.js. And then whenever you've calculated that and want to fire the arbitrage opportunity, you simply send the transaction to the blockchain and make the arbitrage happen. And once you've completed this bot, you can run it on your computer. OK, or you can deploy it to a web server, you know, in the cloud and have it running 24 seven. So it can be continuously watching for these arbitrage opportunities and make you passive income while you sleep. All right. So that's an overview of how to create a arbitrage based crypto trading bot with flash loans on the blockchain. So if you want to do anything that I'm talking about in this video, then, you know, first of all, smash the like button down below, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, but you need to become a blockchain developer in order to get the skills to really customize these strategies. And the good news is I can show you how to do that step by step and you don't even have to be an expert to get started today. I can show you everything you need to know over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You know, I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp Diversity.